What about you, Miguel? How are you? I agree. I agree, teacher. I'm Perfect. I'm great. Thanks for asking. And what about you, Kate? Teacher, uh, I I uh, good. Thank you. Okay, that's perfect. So glad to hear that. So what about we start the class? So today we are going to continue with the reading we were doing yesterday. Okay. So I'm going to present to you my screen. Just give me a second. And here we have it. Can you see my screen now, girls and boy? Yes, teacher. Yes, teacher. Perfect. So what we're going to do, we're going to read it again, right? And after that, we're going to answer or we're going to choose better between true and false, okay? And after that, we're going to do a listening exercise. Hola, Andrés. Hello, Andrés. How are you? Bye, thank you, teacher. That's amazing. So here we are. We're going to start reading. So we're going to read it together. And after reading it, we are going to choose between true or false, okay? This one, we already did it yesterday. So we're not going to do it again. Or if you want to, we're going to do it. Don't worry. So let's start first with the reading, okay? Entonces empecemos primero con la lectura. So we are going to do it together. It says, in 1820, there was a revolution in Peru, which was then a Spanish colony. Jose de San Martin and the rebel army were marching to Lima, the capital. The Spanish Viceroy wanted to save all the gold and silver that he and the Catholic Church were stealing, were stealing from the Indians. The treasure was to be hide anywhere near the city. There was a life-size statue of the Virgin Mary made of pure gold with a crown large with a crown of large diamonds. 113 smaller gold statues of saints, 200 boxes of rubies and sapphires, 1,000 diamonds, 273 swords decorated with gold, silver, and diamonds, 150 gold cups, and 10,000 gold coins, 550 gold ingots, and 275 silver ingots. The Viceroy decided to send the treasure to Spain, but he didn't have a ship. The Bishop of Lima recommended the British sea captain, William Thompson. He was a respected trader and a Roman Catholic. The Viceroy agreed and his men loaded the treasure aboard Captain Thompson's ship, the Mary Deer. He also sent 10 of his soldiers onto the ship toward the treasure. The Mary Deer sailed out of Lima just before the rebels captured the city. That night, Captain Thompson and his crew attacked and killed the Spanish wards and threw their bodies overboard. They changed course, sailed to Cocos Island and buried the, tre the treasure in the jungle. They wanted to return in a year and divide up the treasure, but their luck ran out the next day when a Spanish warship captured their ship. The Spaniards hanged the crew of the Mary Deer the next day, but not Captain Thompson and his first mate, who promised... Okay, give me a second. who promised to show the captain of the Spanish ship where the treasure was. The Spanish ship stayed on Cocos Island and Captain Thompson, the mate, and six Spanish sailors with pistols walked into the, 
into the thick jungle. That was the last time that somebody saw them. Since then, many people have tried to find the treasure on Cocos Island, but nobody has ever found it. Okay, perfect, guys. Do you have any question, any doubt about the reading so far? Or everything is good? ¿Tienen alguna pregunta? Sí, sí. The class is finished or is it beginning now? It's beginning. Just beginning. Okay. okay. So, hello to Joka, to Oscar, to Caro. We were hello. reading. We were I have, I have some, I, I have some problem with the, with the lean. I don't know why. Uh, I, I don't know why that, uh, that is happening. Yeah. No sé por qué pasa eso, pero algunas veces funciona bien, otras veces no. No sé qué sucede. But we are here, so don't worry. Entonces, ¿qué estábamos haciendo? Estábamos dándole una leída al texto que, de, que trabajamos ayer, ¿cierto? Que no alcanzamos a hacer todas las actividades, solo para recordar, ¿cierto? Para tener fresco de qué estábamos hablando. Entonces, ahora sí vamos a pasar a las actividades. So I'm asking you guys, do you have any question, any doubt about vocabulary, about content in the reading? ¿Tienen alguna pregunta sobre vocabulario, contenido, digamos algo que no hayan entendido como tal del contenido o una palabra en específico? Or everything is great. O todo está bien. Guys. <laughs> Are you there? Guys, can you hear me? Yes, teacher. Yes, teacher. Oh, okay. <laughs> I thought I was, I was without internet. Okay, perfect. So if you don't have any doubt, so let's continue. If you want to, we can do this again. Do you want to do it again? Cool. Yes or no? No. No? Okay. So let's continue. Here we have it. So let's do this one. We're going to do, I'm going to read these statements and you are going to tell me if they are true or false. Okay? Okay. Then we are going to check together. So the first one, it says, in, in 1820, Peru was an independent country. This is true or false? False. True. Okay, true. somebody said true, somebody said false. So let's do both. And after that, now let it be. It says Colombia shares a border with Peru. True. This is true or false? True. True. So true. And what about the others? What do you think? True or false? ¿Y los otros qué piensan? True or false? True or false? Okay, everybody says true. Let us see. It says, in 1820, Lima was the capital of Peru. And it is still is. This is true or false? True or false? True. True. What about the others? What do you think? ¿Qué piensan los demás? Dice, en 1820 Lima era la capital de Perú y aún lo es. True or false? True. 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 Perfect. D, it says the Viceroy put the treasure aboard a Spanish warship. True or false? It's true. 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 Everybody says true. True. Does this and true? True. What about Oscar? What about Miguel? What about Caterine? What about Joka? What do you think? 
ट्रू और फॉल्स ट्रू ट्रू सी ओस्कार तोस इस्तामस इस्कुचांदो पैस तोस में इस्कुचां नो से चिकोस इस्कुचां ओके कैथरीन में इस्कुचा मिगेल में इस्कुचास परफेक्ट अंगेला में इस्कुचास यस टीचर सी से ते इस्कुचा नॉर्थीस तम्बीन अंद्रेस यस थैंक यू Andrés, ¿escuchas? ¿Me escuchas? Hola, Andrés. Yes, teacher, yes. Caro, Yoka. Yes, teacher. Y Yoka, ¿me escuchas? Hola. Yes, teacher, I hear you. Ok, so solamente Oscar es quien no me escucha. Okay, so let's continue. I was asking you, so everybody says true. Todos dicen verdadero a que the Viceroy put the treasure aboard a Spanish warship. Miguel, what did you say? False. False, you false. So let's put it. Okay, then we have the Viceroy wanted to send the treasure to Spain. This was true or false? True. True. False. False. And what about the others? What do you think? ¿Y qué piensan los demás? False. True. Okay. Tengo el grupo dividido. Unos dicen true, otros dicen false. Then we are going to see. Don't worry. So the next one we have here, it says, the name of, the, of Captain Topsom Sheep was the Mary Celeste. True or false? This is false. Okay, false. Here we have false. What else? Que dicen los demás? False? Everybody false? Yes, it's false. Okay, perfect. Everybody says false. This one. Captain Topsom and his crew became pirates. What do you think? True or false? False. ¿Qué creen ustedes, chicos? ¿El Capitán Topsom y su tripulación se convirtieron en piratas? Yes or no? False. 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 What about the others? Okay, Kate. See you later. Bravo, Andres. Andres, no te he escuchado. ¿Qué dices tú? ¿Verdadero o falso? Verdadero. True. Okay, so let's continue. It says, when the crew attacked the Spanish soldiers, they jumped overboard. Entonces dice, cuando la tripulación atacó a los soldados españoles, ellos saltaron fuera de borda. This is true or false? False. And what about the others? True, teacher. True. False. True, teacher. True, okay. So then we are going to see. This one, Cocos Island is in the Caribbean Sea. This is true or false? True. True. How about the others? Everybody says true. Yes or no? Okay. So let's continue. A British warship captured the Mary Deer. This is true or false? True or false? Gabriel. 
guys? Are you there? It's true. True. Esas preguntas son literales. Algunas no. Ok, algunas quedan más a la inferencia de ustedes, es decir, a lo que ustedes entendieron del texto, otras son literales y otras no están en el texto, simplemente son de cultura general. Ok. Entonces, estábamos diciendo, a British warship captured the Mary Deer, yes or no? True or false? False. True. True. Okay. <laughs> Perfect. Then we are going to see. Then we have the Spaniards. Do you know what is the Spaniards? Uh -huh. Los Españoles. The Spaniards hanged the crew of the Mary Deer. This is true, true or false? True, ok. Teacher Haint, ¿qué es lo que es? True. ¿Qué significa? Colgaron. Colgar, los colgaron. Ajá. Colgarlos del cuello, o sea, los, sí, los ahorcaron. Yes, teacher, true. So, true or false? True. true. Ok. The last one. Ok. And the last one, it says... The Spaniards took Captain Thompson and the first mate back to Cocos Island. That was true or false? True. True. Mm, false. Yeah. And what are the others? False. It's false. Okay. So let's see. Let's see. So the first one you said in eight. 1820, Peru was an independent country. So let's see if that is. In 1820, there was a revolution in Peru, which was then a Spanish colony. So it wasn't an independent country. It was a Spanish colony. So this one is false is false okay then we have colombia shares a border with peru you all said true so let's see and here we have it here is the map and here is colombia So yes, we share a border with Peru. So that one was true, perfect. This one. In 1820, Lima was the capital city of Peru and it still is. You all said true. And here we have it. Lima, the capital, perfect. It is true. So now we have this one. The Viceroy put the treasure aboard a Spanish warship. Okay, a Spanish warship. So some of you said true, some of you said false. Bueno, ¿quién dijeron, ¿quiénes dijeron que sí y quiénes dicen que no? Guys. Ya ninguno, tío. No, 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 no. Jesús. Porque necesito que me muestren la evidencia. A ver, los It's que true. dicen que sí, los que, los que dicen que sí. Ok, y que dicen que sí, los que dicen que es false, true and false. ¿Dónde dice? ¿Dónde dice eso? Miguel, no te escucho, ¿puedes hablar un poquito más fuerte? Teacher, ahí dices que el, el, el tesoro fue enviado para eso, pero no tenía un barco. Ajá, entonces, ¿el barco de quién era? 
Del capitán. Ajá. Del capitán. Exacto, del capitán británico, William Thompson, here. Eso quiere decir que el barco no era un barco de guerra primero y no era español. Era un barco normal y era británico. So this is false. Yes, here. Dice que el, el capitán es británico. Yes. El capitán es británico. El capitán es el dueño. Por ende, su barco es británico también, right? <laughs> so it was a ship, okay. And the captain was a British ca captain. Perfect. So it wasn't a Spanish and it wasn't a warship. Then we have the Viceroy wanted to send the treasure to Spain. So some of you said true and some of you said false. So let's see. And here we have it. The Viceroy decided to send the treasure to Spain. So, tu, 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 tu. this one was true. He yes. wanted to send the treasure to Spain. So perfect, it was true. Then we have the name of the Captain Thompson's chief was the Mary Celeste. <laughs> And no, that one was false. Perfect, you're right. Then we have. Captain Thompson and his crew became pirates. Esta, que se convirtieron en piratas. Most of you said false, and just Andrés said true. Right? Solo Andrés dijo que ellos se convirtieron en piratas. El resto de ustedes dijeron que es falso. ¿Ok? Entonces, acá, acá en el texto como tal, no dice que ellos se convirtieron en piratas. Pero, ¿qué hace un pirata? ¿Quién me puede decir qué hace un pirata? Esther. Roba tesoros, ¿no? Ajá. Roba los otros barcos. Exacto. Eh, asalta los otros barcos. ¿Qué más? Mata. Ajá. ¿Y qué hicieron ellos? Here we have it. Ah, ellos atacaron a los guardias españoles. Exacto. Ellos atacaron, mataron y se robaron el tesoro. Entonces, ¿son piratas o no? Sí, se convirtieron en piratas. Ajá, exacto. Sí se convirtieron. Es decir que, Andrés, felicitaciones. You're right. They became pirates. Perfect. Then we have, when the crew attacked the Spanish soldiers, they jumped overboard. Entonces aquí, algunos de ustedes dijeron que es verdadero, otros dijeron que es falso. So let's see. Here we have it. It says, and the Captain Thompson and his crew attacked and killed the Spanish guards and threw their bodies overboard. Lo que quiere decir que ellos no saltaron, ellos fueron tirados fuera de borda, ya muertos. Es decir, que eso es falso, ¿ok? Porque ellos no saltaron, los tiraron. Sus cuerpos muertos los tiraron. So this one is false, not true. This one, we have Cocos Island is in the Caribbean Sea. Ok, this one wasn't in the text. Esta pregunta o esta afirmación no estaba en el texto, pero esta es de cultura general. Y Cocos Island 
no queda en el océano eh, Atlántico, queda en el océano Pacífico, ¿ok? So, this is false. Por eso creo que estamos estudiando inglés, teacher. <laughs> que geografía como que... <laughs> Don't worry. <laughs> It's okay. Cocos Island. Uh, in fact, I didn't know it too. So don't worry. I just look for it. De hecho, yo tampoco lo sabía, así que no se sientan mal. Yo lo busqué porque no lo sabía. Ni siquiera sabía que existía una isla que se llamaba Cocos. Empezando por ahí. <ríe> y, eh, bueno, no me acuerdo. Yo la busqué y creo que queda en República Dominicana, si no estoy mal. Creo que sí. Okay, perfect. So let's continue. The next one, it says, a British warship captured the Mary Deer. A British warship. Okay. So let's see. Some of you said true and some of you said false. So let's see. Here we have it. But they will not run out the next day when a Spanish warship captured their ship. So it wasn't British, it was a Spanish. So this one was false, not true. The next one we have here, the Spaniards hang the crew of the Mary Deer. All of you say true, and this is correct. Here we have it. The Spaniards hang the crew of the Mary Deer. And the last one, it says, the Spaniards took Captain Thompson and the first mate back to Cocos Island. So let's see. Here we have the Spanish ship landed on Cocos Island and Captain Thompson mate and took the Spanish sailors with pistols walk the thick jungle. So this one was true. This one was true. Not false. Okay, <clears throat> perfect, guys. Very good. So everything is clear here. Do you have any doubt? Está claro todo, chicos. Tienen alguna duda? No, teacher. Okay, perfect. Okay, so let's continue. So now what we're going to do, we are going to have a listening exercise, okay? This one. So I'm going to give you two minutes just for you to read this. And after you read it, we are going to play the listening exercise three times, okay? Okay, okay. Perfect. Good. You have two minutes for reading it. Tienen dos minutos para leerlo y en dos minutos nos vemos. Ok, voy a apagar mi micrófono un segundo. Tienen una bulla para acá súper rara.
Okay, you ready, guys? Yes, teacher. Okay, what about the others? Yes, teacher. Perfect. Yes, teacher. Perfect. What about Oscar, Joka, Miguel, Jate? You ready, guys? Teacher, one second. Okay. And Oscar? Yeah, cousin. Okay, perfect. Thank you, teacher. Okay, perfect. What about Miguel, Joka, Oscar? Yes, teacher. Okay, perfect. Oscar? Yeah. Sí, Joka, are you there? Okay, so let's do it. So I'm going to play the listening three times, okay? But if you need one more time, I will play it one more time, okay? So let's do it. It goes in three, two, one, go. Welcome back to another listening exercise. Listen carefully to the following audio and fill the gaps. In 1820, Peru was a Spanish colony. Jose San Martin was a rebel leader. The Spanish Viceroy, and the Catholic Church were stealing gold and silver from the Indians. They wanted to send their treasure to Spain by ship. They gave the treasure to a Captain Thompson, a British trader, but he and his crew killed the Spanish wards and stole the treasure. They sailed to Cocos Island and hid the treasure in the jungle. Since then, lots of people have looked for the treasure, but nobody has ever found it. This is the end of the listening exercise. Okay, perfect. I'm going to play it the second time. Welcome back to another exercise. Listen carefully to the following audio and fill the gaps. In 1820, Peru was a Spanish colony. Jose San Martin was a rebel leader. The Spanish Viceroy and the Catholic Church were stealing gold and silver from the Indians. They wanted to send their treasure to Spain by ship. They gave the treasure to a Captain Thompson, a British trader, but he and his crew killed the Spanish wards and stole the treasure. They sailed to Cocos Island and hid the treasure in the jungle. Since then, lots of people have looked for the treasure, but nobody has ever found it. This is the end of the listening exercise. Okay, perfect. I'm going to play it for the last time. Welcome back to another listening exercise. Please feel free to the following audio and fill the gaps. In 1820, Peru was a Spanish colony. Jose San Martin was a rebel leader. The Spanish Viceroy and the Catholic Church were stealing gold and silver from the Indians. They wanted to send their treasure to Spain by ship. They gave the treasure to a Captain Thompson, a British trader, but he and his crew killed the Spanish wards and stole the treasure. They sailed to Cocos Island and hid the treasure in the jungle. Since then, lots of people have looked for the treasure, but nobody has ever found it. 
This okay. is the end of the listening exercise. Perfect. So, you ready, guys, or do you need one more time? Okay. I didn't listen to you, Miguel. Can you say it again? You ready? All of you are ready? Yes. Okay, perfect. Yes, teacher. So let's do it. The first one, it says, in 1820, Peru was a Spanish colony. 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 Perfect. Jose de San Martin was a rebel leader. Leader. Perfect. The Spanish Viceroy and the Catholic Church were stealing gold and silver from the Indian. Indian. Indians. Perfect. They wanted to send their treasure to Spain by ship. Ship. Perfect. They gave the treasure to Captain Thompson, a British trader. 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 Perfect. But he and his crew killed the Spanish Wards. 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 Perfect words. And he stole the treasure. They sailed to Cocos Island and hid the treasure in the jungle. 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 Perfect. Since then, lots of people have looked for the treasure, but nobody. 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 Yes, nobody. Perfect. I almost say it. <laughs> but nobody has ever found it. Perfect. So very good, guys. Do you have any question here? No teacher. Okay, perfect. So let's do another activity. So here we have it. Can you see my screen now, guys? Yes, teacher. Okay, perfect. So here we have an image with some people doing some things, right? So let's read this passage. It says, when Edgar arrived at the beach, people were busy. What were they doing? Use past continuous. So what were you are going to do? You are going to look at the image, right? And as you can notice, each like group of people or person has a number, right? And we are going to make sentences using past continuous, okay? Entonces, ¿qué vamos a hacer? Vamos a mirar la imagen, ¿cierto? De acuerdo al número, vamos a describir qué estaba haciendo cada persona en la imagen, ¿ok? Y esto lo vamos a hacer utilizando el pasado continuo, ¿ok? So, let's do it. So number one, it says, Peter, let's look for number one. What is number one? Surfing. Yes. Number one, it is windsurfing. So how is it? What was Peter doing? Oscar. Uh, Peter was Surfing in the sea. Surfing or windsurfing? Windsurfing. 
Perfect. Wind surfing. <gasps> what am I doing? <laughs> Not here. 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 Okay, perfect. So Peter was windsurfing. Perfect. Entonces, chicos, no les había explicado. Acá abajito tienen esta, eh, este cuadrito donde están todas las acciones, ¿ok? Entonces, ustedes deben mirar a quien le pregunte, ¿cierto? Yo voy preguntándole a cada uno de ustedes. Y a quien le pregunte debe mirar la imagen, ¿cierto? Por la persona que le pregunto. Y luego mira aquí en esta cajita por la acción que está realizando esta persona. Y luego, ¿cierto? Hace la oración en pasado continuo. ¿Ok? So, number two, Elsa. Let's look for Elsa, Caro. No puedo ver la imagen. Ah, ya. No. Ya, ya la vi. Ok. So, you saw number two, a uh, Elsa. Yes. Pero no recuerdo cómo se llama esa actividad. Teacher, es ti. Ok, here we have it. Here we have the activities. Aquí tenemos todas las actividades. Entonces, busca entre esas cuál crees tú que es y me dices cómo es la oración. What was Elsa doing? Water ski. Uh -huh. So, Elsa. Elsa was uh -huh. watering a ski. Water skiing. Ok. Perfect. Number three, Kate. Let's look for Mary. Okay. So, where is Mary? Okay, teacher. Ready? So, what was Mary doing? Uh, teacher, Mary was swimming. Yes. Yeah. Mary was swimming. You sure? Swimming. You sure? Or she was jumping into the water? Yeah. Ah, okay. Yes. 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 Uh, jump, jumping into the water. Perfect. Jumping. Yes. Perfect. Mary was jumping into the water. Number four, Miguel, the fisherman. Was the stamp on the ship? Perfect. So the fisherman was standing on the ship, right? Perfect. Number five, Sheila. Andres, let's look for Sheila. Sheila. Number five. Ah, ya la vi. Ya yes, la vi. perfect. Ya la vi. So, what was Sheila doing? Hoy. <coughs> Yeah, profesor. Uh -huh. Ride a horse. Ride a uh -huh. horse. So Sheila was riding, right? A horse. Riding a horse. Perfect. Uh -huh. Number six, Angela. Let's look for some children. Did you find them? Uh, we're, we're running. Perfect. Some children were running. Number seven, Orkis. Let's look for Mike. Uh, sería Mike was playing volleyball. Sure, volleyball? No. Para ver, subo atrás el cuadrito. Look at this. 
Esta es la cajita donde salen todas las actividades que están haciendo. Ok. Here. Ah, sería. Mike was playing with a beach ball. Perfect. Very good. Mike was playing with a beach ball. Number eight, John and Nick. Uh, who's missing? Joka. Yes, teacher. I am the busy for day I know participate today. Okay. Uh, okay. Can me? What I can do? You have to look for the number eight, John and Nick. Eight. And then you are going to tell us what were they doing. Okay. Okay. They were mm -hmm. make a sun customer. Sun customer. Yes. So they were building, right? They were building a sand castle, yeah. Perfect, a sand castle. Very good. So now, number nine, Oscar. Let's look for mm. Eve and Jean. Pero, es que no veo la... Okay, let me, I'm going to put it a little bit bigger. Ready? They were Did playing the volleyball. You know, with Perfect. The they were playing volleyball. Perfect. So now, number 10. Caro, the journalist. Let's look for the journalist. Uh, the journalist yes. was taking a photograph. Perfect. The journalist was taking photographs. And number 11, Angela. The fat man. Let's look for the fat man. Was swimming. Perfect. The fat man was swimming. Very good, guys. Do you have any question here? Nope. No. No. Perfect. So very good. So now what we're going to do is to each one of you are going to write a yes no question and a WH question in the past continuous about asking for our last weekend. Okay. Entonces, ¿qué vamos a hacer ahora? Cada uno de ustedes. Va a escribir, ¿cierto? Dos preguntas. Va a ser dos preguntas. Una que sea una yes, no question. Y otra que sea una WH question, ¿ok? ¿Y qué van a preguntarnos? Nos van a preguntar a cada uno de nosotros sobre nuestro fin de semana pasado. ¿Qué hicimos? ¿Ok? ¿Qué estábamos haciendo nuestro fin de semana? Entonces podemos decir, les voy a dar dos ejemplos. Eh, when you watching movies? On Saturday at 6 o'clock. Entonces, podemos hacer esta pregunta, ¿cierto? Que está en pasado continuo y es una yes no question donde responderíamos si sí si estábamos viendo películas a las 6 el sábado, diríamos yes, I was. And if we, we yes. yes, we can say no, I wasn't. ¿Ok? Entonces, si no estábamos viendo películas, pues decimos no, no estaba. Eh, también, entonces, a una, les voy a dar un ejemplo también con una question. Por ejemplo, podemos preguntar, what were you doing on Sunday at 7 a.m.? Entonces, ¿qué estabas haciendo el domingo a las 7 de la mañana? Entonces, ahí tenemos que responder con más detalle, ¿cierto? Oh, oh at 7 a.m. on Sunday, 
I was sleeping, por ejemplo. Las 7 de la mañana, el domingo, yo estaba durmiendo. ¿Ok? Teacher, please, eh, you can repeat the second eh, example. Yes. What were you doing eh, on Sunday? What were you doing on Sunday at 7 a.m.? ¿Qué estabas haciendo el domingo a las 7 de la mañana? Okay. Perfect. So let's do it. You have two minutes for doing that. Okay. Tienen dos minutos. Un minuto para cada pregunta. Go ahead. Teacher, excuse me. Eh, I can eh, put where did you learn me? Ta, ta, ta. Where did you No, Did you know? Porque no estamos haciendo preguntas con pasado simple, sino con pasado continuo. ¿Ok? Es de qué estabas haciendo o de estabas haciendo tal cosa. Ok. Ok, teacher. Thank you. You're welcome. Okay, guys, you almost ready? Okay, guys, you almost ready? Yes, teacher. And what about the others? Yes, teacher. Yes, teacher. Okay. Yes, teacher. Okay. Yoka? Taro? Kate? Yes, teacher. Okay. Kate? So, so, teacher. And Yoka? Yes. Okay. How many do you have? ¿Cuántas tienes? One. The okay. first. Yo, let's do it like that. Like, just, just, let's do it like that. Yeah. So, go ahead, Kate. Ask us your question. Uh, my first question? Yes. Where were we looking the movie? Okay. Were you watching a movie, guys? Andres, were you watching a movie uh, 
la, the last weekend, in your last weekend? Andres? So go ahead, Oscar. Oscar, were you watching a movie? I'm watching the movie. Yes or no? I, uh, yes. Yes, I were. I watching the movie in the in the in the small in the centro comercial. Okay, perfect. So you were at the cinema. Perfect. What about Caro? Caro, were you watching a movie on your last weekend? No, no, no. I wasn't. wasn't. Perfect. Moving. Perfect. So, Angela, can you ask us one of your questions? I yes, teacher. I I was watching the movie the last weekend. Okay, perfect. And can you ask us one of your questions? Puedes preguntarnos una de tus preguntas, valga la redundancia. Where were were you watching the news the last weekend? Okay, perfect. Miguel, were you watching the news last weekend? Okay, were you watching the news last weekend? The news? Las noticias? Yes. Yes. Yes, I. Yes, I was. Wasn't Perfect. Norkis, were you watching the news last weekend? No, I wasn't. Okay, perfect. Caro, can you ask us one of your questions? Okay, perfect. What were you do, doing Friday night at eight o'clock? Okay. What were you doing on Friday at, at nine o'clock? Yes. Eight. Eight o'clock. Eight. Okay. What were you doing, guys, on Friday at eight o'clock? Oscar, go ahead. A.M. or P.M.? I was PM. Let's do it PM. I was reading a book. Okay, you were reading a book. What about you, Angela? I was watching the movie. Okay, what about you, Kate? I was uh, learning English. Okay, what about you, Andres? What about you, Joka? I was I was watching TV. Okay. What about you, Miguel? Yeah. I didn't I didn't hear you. I was read, reading a book. Perfect. What about you, Norkis? What about you? I was listening music. Okay, Andres, you're here. What about you? What were you doing on Friday at 8 p.m.? Exercise. Oh, you were doing exercise? On the night. Perfect. Perfect. Okay, so who, Oscar, go ahead. Do the last question. Mm, what were you playing football the Monday on the. On the morning, in the morning. Mm, okay. Were you playing football on Monday in the morning? <laughs> so go ahead, to do Norkis. Were you? Oh, okay. Norkis is gone. Go ahead, uh, Angela. Were you playing football? On Monday, in the morning. Not teacher. I I I wasn't. 
Okay, perfect. What about Catherine? No, teacher, I, I wasn't. What about Caro? No, I wasn't. What about Andres? No, I was. Okay. You, you weren't. What about Joka? No, teacher, I wasn't. Perfect. What about Miguel? No, I wasn't. And what about Norkis? Were you no, playing? I wasn't. Se okay. <laughs> yes, don't worry. So, perfect, guys. In my case, I wasn't neither. What about you, Oscar? Were you playing football? Mm, I wasn't. <laughs> <laughs> perfect, perfect, guys. Pero excuse me, eh, yeah. quería preguntarle por la asistencia. Yes, I'm going to send it in the group right now. <laughs> Muchas gracias por recordarme. Entonces, ya la voy a enviar por el grupo. Si no la envío, me atacan, me escriben mensajitos. Profe, no he enviado la asistencia. ¿Ok? 